In the occupied West Bank, the Israeli military is pressing on with raids across several cities. Now, these are images captured during an incursion into the Jalazone refugee camp north of Ramallah. It shows Israeli forces detaining civilians. The Palestinian Prisoners Society says more than 30 Palestinians have been detained overnight across the occupied West Bank. And further north, the Israeli army has extended its military assault in the Janin refugee camp. The raid has been ongoing for more than a week, leaving a trail of death and destruction. Well, for more on this, we're now joined by Leila Wara, who is a Palestinian reporter in the occupied West Bank. She joins us from Ramallah. Thanks very much for being with us on Al Jazeera. First of all, now we've really seen uh, what the military is doing through these operations, but why? What's Israel actually trying to achieve here? So Israel is framing this as a counterterrorism operation, but in reality, what we're seeing is them trying to fortify the occupation in the occupied West Bank. They want to make their occupation stronger so that in the long run, they can take over the West Bank and turn it into part of the Israeli state, which we're already seeing. Um, just a few days ago, Netanyahu showed a map of, of Israel, and inside of it, there were no definitions for the West Bank. So this is, our, this is no secret that it's what Israel is planning on doing. Israeli politicians have been very clear that their aim is to take over the West Bank and turn it into part of Israel. As you mentioned, Israel is claiming uh, this is a counter-terrorism or anti-terrorism operation. But is it actually stopping Palestinian resistance? So as we've seen for decades in the past of Israel's supposed missions to suppress resistance in the occupied West Bank and in Gaza, um, it's never worked. It just creates more resistance and more people coming forward and resisting. But it's really important to note that this resistance is very weak. These are pa very young Palestinian men with very limited resources who are desperate to not be living under occupation. They... So... They're coming forward and they're resisting, but at the same time, since these raids are happening in, happening in civilian populations, it's traumatizing the entire population and everyone is being punished. It's a collective punishment strategy that is at the same time scaring people. And especially with the current climate of the prisons and the number of people being killed, people are scared. But there's a limit on the amount of power that Israel has that can actually stop the resistance. It will continue blooming and it will, will continue, people will continue fighting this occupation. Right, we've seen uh, eight days of uh, raids in this military operation in Janine, but is the rest of the West Bank, the occupied West Bank, actually being spared or are we seeing raids elsewhere as well? No. So the entire West Bank is in Israel's sights. Nowhere is spared and nowhere is going to be spared. Even down south in Hebron, we're seeing the Israeli military put the whole city of Hebron under a military blockade. People are saying that it's one of the worst blockades that they've seen in years. Um, previous to the war, there were about 100 checkpoints around the area. After the war, it increased to 120, and now there are even more, so people can't move. Um, and again, it's these baby steps and these little things that are all kind of amounting to the same ultimate goal, which is land conquest. Shove all of the Palestinians into these small areas so they can take more and more land in the outer areas and eventually take all of it. Thank you so much, uh, Leila. That's uh, Leila Wara, a Palestinian reporter in the occupied West Bank. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.